another lecture of this series, Web Technologies. In this lecture, we'll be discussing HTML lists and HTML links. Now, HTML lists, we have three basic HTML lists. One, we have the ordered list, two, on ordered list, and two, we have the definition list. Now, let's open our Visual Studio to code this. Now, let's talk about the ordered list. Let me put in the comment. This is how to put in comments. Now, what are comments? Now, comment is they are just um, documentation that are used by the programmer to understand the code. So when the programmer comes back to the code, he can easily understand the code. It cannot be interpreted by the compiler. Sorry, in this case, it cannot be interpreted by the browser. The browser does not interpret it. The browser, in fact, does not see it. So it just used by the programmer for documentation purposes. Now, all that list. Let's say we want to list the courses in computer science. Let's say H1 courses courses in computer science now to use the ordered list you use the tag called ol now o there means ordered l there means list ordered list so let's start listing to start listing we use li li here means li means list item list item let's put um structured structured programming let's list another one web technology let's list another one data structure so that's cool let's save then let's reload let's load it through our live server so here's what we have this is the list the ol list the ordered list now let's talk about the on order list the only difference is to change the ol that ol tag we we'll just change it to ul U them is on ordered i'm sure i've changed it to an ordered list now now let's let me load it you can see it now the only difference now is difference between ordered and all ordered is that this one this one is ordered in terms of numbers one two three why this one uses bullet list as you can see now let's talk about the definition list the definition list is used to define to show definitions like for example now it uses the tag d dl d there means definition l there means list and inside the dl we have what we call d dt the dt means definition term now let's say we want to define html html now we have also dd dd there means definition description let's describe it we say hypertext hypertext markup language as you can see can you see it now and let's say we want to define CSS2. So we will say D words T T. That's definition term. In this case, is CSS. Now the next thing will be definition D definition description. And CSS means cascading cascading style sheet. Now the next one, let's say JavaScript now. DT JavaScript. Let's say JavaScript, no language. JavaScript. And the DD definition description, you can also say JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language so let's see how it looks like let's load it let's see how it looks like can you see it now this is how definition list look like it has the term dt and that's the definition that's the definition description 
is on definition term, definition term, definition description. So that's all about um, lists in HTML. These are about lists in HTML. Let's now talk about links in HTML. Let's talk about links. Now, HTML links are used to navigate the web. Without the list, we cannot navigate the World Wide Web. It's the, it's the links that allows us to navigate the World Wide Web. So, now, the links are always used in three different scenarios. Let me clean here. Let me clean my... Let me clean this place up. So, we can talk about lists. Write H1. HTML lists links rather so it's just used for navigating the world wide web now it plays a very peculiar role it does literally three major things one it can actually open an external link two it can open different pages of your own particular website and three it can open a particular part of your website we'll look at it we'll look at those two then we'll talk about the third one in the next class in the next lecture let's talk about it now now to open an external page for instance I want to open a Facebook page now Facebook so this is how we we'll do it the tag is a we call it the anchor tag the anchor tag is used for links a a and of course it has the closing tag and that's the text we want to open Facebook let's call it Facebook Control S. Let me save it and load it. Let's see how it looks like here. You see that Facebook. This is a link, anchor tag, but it's not an active link because you have not done something. You have not put an attribute. There's an attribute that we must put there. The attribute is href. They will not put the URL of the link where we want to link it to. Now, as I've told you, we are linking it to an external website, which is Facebook in this case. So, say HTTPS. slash www.facebook.com you see that it will be highlighted blue right now because we have put you see now it's blue with an underline that is this default appearance of every link on the website until I change it with CSS until I style it this is the default appearance now if I click it now because of the URL because of the href where I put the URL it will go straight to the page to go straight to Facebook. Let me click it. It says block. Okay. Oh, sorry, we didn't do it here well. Let's see. Okay, that's a mistake we made. Can you see it now? It has linked to Facebook. It has linked to Facebook. And if you watch, we are on this page and it's actually the Facebook actually loaded on this page. Now, I don't want it to load on this page. I want it to load on another tab. You should come here and open Facebook. That's what I want. So there's another attribute that we use. We call that attribute targets. Now, the default target is self the default target is self that thing that just happened you know when i launch it when i press facebook it loaded on it that self now if i wanted to come to the other side to create another new tab for facebook and this page will still remain here we'll use another attribute another value instead of self because we have four values of targets we have self we have blank we have top and we have parents. Those are the four values of targets. But if I, because this one self means it's going to stay on that same window as the page itself. Okay, let me let me show you again. Let me show you. Let's go back to the page. You know this is the page. Now if I click Facebook, it will open on this same window as the page. That's self. This self, and this is the default. But if I put blank now. underscore blank
control s let's now go back to it let me reload it just watch once i click facebook it will come here can you see now the facebook is here why the html page is still here that's the instance of that target blank why the other one the other values that we have are target i'm sorry our parents and top but those ones are used when we are using in frames we don't need it the two basic ones that we need is blank and self and self is default while blank is it's not default is that okay so now that's it that's linking now let's talk about linking to different pages in our website now we just have only one one page on our website let's create another page let's call this page about us about us.html let's just copy everything here control e sorry control e and paste it yeah let's call this one about us now let's call this two about us let's remove this link here so we have created another page about us and it's on the same level we are on the same level so let's let me open it in live server so this is our about us page now we want to create a link here that will link to an about us page let's create it now let's go to our index.html here so we'll see still the same anchor tag a but this time href is not linking to your external website it's linking to a page within our website so we'll see about us is already showing it's about us.html is that okay so let's put about us there is that okay now so we want the target also to be blank to go to another page to go to another tab rather it goes to blank control s okay let's now go and check it now so we have to we have facebook and we have about us let me click about us and you see let me remove this one first it's good to another tab can you see now it has gone to so that's how we use um the links so in the next um lecture we'll talk about the link going to a particular part of a page in the website so that's what we'll talk about in the next class but in that next class we'll be building up on, on a project so inside that project i'm building i will show you how to link how to use link in that way in that particular way okay that's all about links that brings us to the end of this lecture that brings us to the next lecture i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next class in the next lecture